Uh, my name is Corporal Howard Adams, and I was a member of the uh, Integrated Security Unit Community Relations Group. Um, it was made up of Toronto Police and RCMP. And our main role was really to try and engage with the protesters and protester groups um, throughout the city who were going to be coming for the G20 and G8. Uh, we did have some successes in being able to uh, work with some groups to uh, make sure that their, uh, their marches or their walks were done safely and secure. Our main rule was really trying to uh, keep everybody safe throughout the whole of the, the G8 and the G20. Uh, there were some groups that didn't want to engage with us and you know, we continued to try all the way up to uh, the days of the G20. And hopefully some of the successes that we had uh, during that week will certainly uh, help to assist in future uh, demonstrations and things that may go on in the City of Toronto. Howard, you're with the RCMP regularly? That's right. Uh, do you have any uh, moments that were uh, a highlight of uh, success for you, for the Community Relations Group? Uh, certainly our work with the First Nations uh, community was, was something that went very, very well. We were able to work with the group very closely and making sure that they had sufficient uh, marshals during their walk and also that any issues that came up that they were able to deal with us and, and we were sort of the go-between between the uniformed police officers and their, uh, their leaders. Now, is there anything that stands out as uh, that, that wasn't so good in your mind? I've been talking to you on and off, and I know it's been a roller coaster. Is there anything that, that was uh, something that disappointed you? Well, it, I guess it's disappointing in a way that um, more of the, the groups didn't want to work with us because our, our primary role was to make sure that people were kept safe. We didn't want to stop anybody from protesting. We didn't want to stop them from being able to get their message out. And I think that if we look at the successes that we had, that people were able to get their message. And when it came out in the media, that the message was the thing that was for, foremost. It wasn't the fact that they were protesting or marching. It was the message that they had to bring to the people. And that's what we wanted to try and do for all the others. But unfortunately, some of them didn't want to work with us and, and their message got lost. Do you think in future uh, major events like, uh, like this, that having a community relations group wearing green jackets like you're, you're wearing is a good idea? The community relations group concept is an excellent idea but it can, because it gives uh, the community an opportunity to work with law enforcement um, to ensure their safety and to ensure that their message gets out, which is what they want by their protests. Well, Howard, on behalf of uh, myself and uh, our team here at the media uh, and Toronto Police, it's been a pleasure uh, to know you and work with you and you're definitely an officer of integrity and thank you for uh, trying to do the best you can down here. Thank you very much.